Good morning, guys. We are in Oak Grove. There's the Petro over there. We're at the TA. The TA! Yay! Everybody knows how much I love TA. <laughs> used to be my favorite truck stops. TA Petro, that's all I used to stop at. Now I can't hardly stand them. There's some guys argue Loves is the best. Some argue Flying J Pilots are the best. I used to argue TAs were the best. They almost always had more parking. And pretty much all of them had a restaurant at one time. Not no more. Overpriced garbage most of the time. We go in and get something to eat. Uh, we don't want to be negative. Yeah, we got to go into Kansas City, get unloaded. I really wanted to make it over there last night, but believe it or not, I didn't, I didn't realize I did so many miles yesterday. I did 627 miles. I know, I know. I could have done more. I could have went another 30, 30 miles. I, I really could have. I had 30, min 30 minutes when I pulled in here. But... You know, I gotta say, I, I, I absolutely appreciate the people that comment things like that because it gives me something to think on. It gives me something to talk about. Because <laughs> you know, I'm always I'm always trying to be a positive person. I really am, and I want to be an educational at the same time. And you know, sometimes people get under my skin. I'm sorry, but we. Uh, you know, I want to be educational at the same time as trying to be positive. I just want to try to smile a lot. I think smiling is important. Uh, it can be hard to be positive. Being positive, being happy can be a really hard thing. It's easy to be negative and be upset all the time because we live in a world where, you know, it, it's a common thing. But being happy and being positive can be a really hard thing because everybody wants to bring you down. Don't bring me down, man. <laughs> so we're going to get going. We, we got to go. We really do. Well, looks like everything stayed on. That's good. Can I give you a height person? She big. I can verify it has gotten colder out. That is full show. Started for Facebook this morning. I guess overnight a uh, container ship took out a bridge up in uh, Baltimore. I believe it was the Key Bridge or something along them lines. Been across it many times. I, I don't remember names. I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. But uh, I've seen the video of it. That barge, or that, I say barge, because that's what we got over here, mostly, but, uh, it is, it's not like almost a squared on hit. They load them daggum container ships up. I said container ship, didn't I? Yeah, container ship. They load them daggum things up like the Beverly Hillbillies, you know? Keep stacking, just keep stacking, just keep stacking. Man, it, it, it's crazy when I see how they load those things. And this one here wasn't no different. They had that sucker loaded all the way up.
definitely wish we could have made it over here last night. Driving in the traffic. I mean, we're doing all right. I mean, we're staying about 60 miles an hour, but hey, gun. See a sea of red and white, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> collapsing uh, I really don't know the statistics on it I mean I, I've just seen pictures and videos but something I did see was there was possibly like 20 cars on the bridge and they, they were looking for seven people in all seriousness you know that that is absolutely horrible but you know politicians are gonna politic and I can see this being a leverage between Joe Biden and Donald Trump for the presidency. You know, Joe Biden's gonna probably get up there and make start making his, I don't know what you call it, a grievance speech, or I, I don't know what the press release, I guess, the technical term. You know, he, he's gonna get up there, get on the microphone. Uh, today, there was a boat crashed into a bridge in, in, in Baltimore, but it's okay. We're, we're going to build it back better. And, and, and this, is, this is why we're going to build it back better, because when I was young and I, and I lived in Baltimore, I used to ride my bike across the bridge. And the kids would be down in the creek and they would see my hairy legs and want to run their fingers through my hairy legs and, and they were amused because they would turn blonde when it touched the skin and and afterwards we would all go get ice cream and okay i'm sorry that's that when i hear joe biden speak that's like the almost immediate thing my brain goes to i'm sorry but then again you'll have donald trump yes yes this bridge in Baltimore got taken down by a cargo ship carrying billions and billions of, of imported goods coming from other countries like China, when all that could have been made here in America. Yes, yes. This is a terrible tragedy. Joe Biden has horrible trade deals. Yes, yes. It cost billions and billions of American dollars just wasted. And now we got to build back a bridge. That's going to cost millions and millions and millions of dollars. Yes, yes. Then they're going to take credit for building a great bridge. Yes, yes. If I was president, we'd build this bridge so great. Yes. A, a tank ship could hit it. Yeah. And we wouldn't spend millions and millions because I would I would negotiate deals that would save us money. Yes. That put hard working Americans to work. Yeah, we'd use US steel. Yes, US steel made right here in the US. <laughs> oh man. Politics. Criminally. It's crazy, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's horrible. It, my, my view is that if more things were made in America, cargo ships would be less and less needed. Now, I understand things got to be imported, shipped out. You know, it's not just a one-way street with those guys. Those are like the the uh, truckers of the ocean. You know, they. They're carrying what other people need from America to other countries, and they're carrying what Americans need or want from other countries to America. Uh, but, you know, I'm a firm believer. I, time is money. You know, a manufacturer orders something. I don't like manufacturing overseas, and these companies do it all the time. But when it's made overseas, it's got to be handled by multiple different people before it ever even gets to, to where its final destination is. Fellers and fellettes, it's cold out. 
It was actually sleeting a little bit, but there's a two big pieces sitting on the ground over there. I ain't getting out to show you because it's cold out. So we're going to head down south, get us a load of rock, and head back east. Oh, man. Try to get the coat off. It is. I think you guys out what you get. Nothing but in your ears because it is so windy out there and cold. Whew, my ears are frozen. My face is frozen. But we got our two rocks on right here. Uh, we're not at our normal quarry. We're not here with Pat today. Ben Eric loading out here, but Pat today. But we got about, this ain't 21 and a half ton. But we got one big rock and one small one, so I don't know. We look good on our weights. <laughs> Gonna be a little heavy on the trailer, but we look all right. And hey, well, I'm kind of on this Buy American thing. You know, help support your small businesses. Uh, yeah, I know Amazon supports small businesses, blah, blah, blah. I get it. So we go into town and buy coffee at your local coffee shop, not Starbucks, but your local coffee shop, you're helping a family out. You don't get me wrong, I understand. You know, your McDonald's and Starbucks and Walmarts and all this other stuff, it helps feed put food on people's tables. I get it, but not as much as helping a small business owner keep his doors on, keep the American dream alive. I mean, whose dream is not to work at McDonald's? I mean, not many people. Don't get me wrong. I'm sorry if I offend you. If your dream is to work at McDonald's, but not many people have that dream. Not many people dream of working their whole life at Walmart. There are a lot of people that dream of being their own business, you know, living their own life, not being a slave to the man. That's all I'm saying here. Support your small people just as much as you want to go out and support your big people. I know we're all guilty of it. It's convenient to go to Walmart and buy everything you need. Or, or buy on Amazon and just point and click away. But at the same time, you know, your local people need your help too. <laughs> How about it? Just pulled in. To my favorite parking spot. The old man, he's over yonder. Dairy Queen! Time for ice cream! You scream ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Goes my little buddy. See you later, Caden. Catch you on the flip flip. Actually, he's supposed to bring race car parts to me. He didn't go home last night, went to his girlfriend's. Supposed to go home and pick up race car parts, bring them to me, and they go home and I ain't got no race car parts. <laughs> That's all right, we'll get them. But we had our dinner. We're gonna get ready for, to hit the old sack. Go to bed. There you go, it's already 8.30. Time for bed.